Hi guys, welcome back to Life is Strange Chapter 5, I believe part 3 for this chapter. Um, so surprisingly, Alex is still alive after falling all the way down there. Absolutely insane. She surely has a broken bone. Or two or three. How are we even supposed to get back up there though? I would say make a fire, but that feels like a bad idea. Ah, oh, the match from what Gabe gave to her could come in handy. Was uh, I think when you opened it, it might come in handy, something like that. God. Look at the reflection on the glasses though. Wow, this game is beautiful. We're going Don't further down. Out of here. Yeah, we really need need to. Broken ladder. Can we actually look up there? No. I really wish we could have. Is there anything back here? Why don't we go that way? Like, why does it have to be this way? All right. Well, that's obviously the broken ladders. Uh, there is a tunnel. growing into mines, just like Jed said. Huh. Weird. Ew, a dead rat. Ew. Gross. Gross. Wooden sign. Safety. Safety first. We got a pickaxe. Is this Minecraft? Lightning is so good. Oh, no, 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 come on, no, 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 no. <laughs> Why doesn't she just go back a little bit? There was at least a little bit of light then there for her. What's she looking at? Okay, that's something. <sighs> Why is that red? Wait. That aura is the only lead I've got. Is somebody down here? She can only feel emotions and stuff from people. So why why would she be feeling anything down here? All right, boys, getting close. Held average for life, huh, Jed? Dig so deep, we see where the devil sleeps. Jed. Damn right. This is it. 
This is what Typhon tried to bury. A lot of runoff moisture in this soil. Jed, we gotta call it. This dig is fucked. Nothing's fucked. Jed, we got no pumps running. No, my teams have never quit a dig this deep before. We finish the job. Huh. Steady goes. Steady. Fuck was... Move! Come on! Clear the tunnel! Who's on radio? Jed! Fuck! Jed! Jed! Oh my god. Wow, I guess there was, uh... Um, people died down here. There's still men back there! They'll drown! Yeah, and so will we if we don't get the fuck out! Make the call, Jed! God damn it! God damn it! Everyone, let's go! Now! <coughs> Smells like fireworks. Must be where Typhon blew the charges. Oh, so it still smells down there after all this time? Is that fire? Is there still fire under all those under all those rocks? I would be really careful, Alex, in case you fall down. What's she got? Wait a minute, isn't that Alex's mum's necklace that she gave her? That her dad took? New memory unlocked. I don't even know what those are. Dad! Come back! Dad, you son of a bitch! That's Jed, her dad. You gotta stop, man. Dad! Fuck you, Chad! Come back! It's over, Chad. He's not coming back. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Wow, so Alex's dad actually died down there. So that's what that was covering up. Wow. Oh, she's outside, so that's good. Is that the factory? From chapter one? I swear that is the factory from chapter one. So basically, Jed's been acting like the hero this whole time. Yeah, that is the factory from Chapter 1. Wow! So that means that she climbed all the way from the bottom, all the way to the top. And that is insane. Here, I've come to realize what makes Haven so special. It's a flower shop, run by multiple generations. A bar owner? who greets every customer by name. It's a spring festival tradition going back a hundred years. History, loyalty, pride. These values which define Haven are the same values that Typhon was built on. And that is why our partnership has been so successful. It's been my privilege to renew Typhon's commitment to Haven. We believe in this community, and we're tremendously excited for its future. 
Thank you, Diane. I think I speak for all of us when I say we're eager to make this official. So, time to vote, folks. And then lunch. Look at his face. How are you gonna tell me no one's got up to, to help her? Alex, oh my God, I'm fine. You are not fine. We have to get you to a doctor. What happened to you? Jed. I'm going to be okay. This will be harder to hear. I found out something you need to hear. I'm sorry. What? Alex, you're hurt. <sighs> Do you need help? We can call an ambulance. Typhon's been lying to all of you. <sighs> and so has Jed Lucan. Alex, what's going on? Don't pretend. Fuck you. Let's go with don't pretend. You know exactly what's going on. I was down in the mine last night. I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. Jed Lucan isn't a hero. That whole story is a lie. Jed caused the accident. And then he abandoned seven of his men. He let them drown to save himself. There were pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Because one of those miners was my father. Typhon wanted to keep this covered up in case it jeopardized the vote. That reflux. All they care about is making more money. They'll do whatever it takes to push this expansion through. So they decided to bury the evidence. And nothing was going to stop that blast. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. That's how Gabe was killed. Jed knew all along. He covered up the truth about the past, about Gabe. And when I found out, as you can see, He tried to kill me, too. Why aren't any of you saying anything? We don't want to embarrass you, Alex. Yeah, I'm not embarrassed. Try me. These accusations are, well, they're insane. And trying to go into the mine was obviously a very dangerous, very illegal thing to do. Are you kidding me? But we all sympathize with your situation. You've been through so much. Your brother was your only family, wasn't he? I can only imagine how much you want an explanation for his loss. Something to give you comfort and make your life seem less unfair. I know you have a conscience. You suppress the evidence. You know there's proof of the cover-up. You had Pike arrest me to suppress the evidence. Officer Pike arrested you for stealing items from my purse. Perhaps you were looking for evidence? And I found it. Which is why you and Jed tried to threaten me into silence. Dad, do you have any idea what Alex is talking about? No. Of course I don't. I don't. I've tried to be there for Alex since Gabe died. I thought, I don't know, I hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. All I can guess is, sometimes when we're hurting, the people we lash out at are the ones who are trying to help. 
You're lying. You're a monster. Monster. You tried to kill me. How can you stand there and say these things? Alex. You're a monster. Please. I know this is hard to accept. You all trust him. I did too, but I'm telling the truth. I believe you. Thank you. Of course I do. If somebody does. I believe you too. Thank you. I'm horrified and shocked and still processing everything, but I believe you. Thank you. He's going to start with his dad about you. I would like to speak. I've known Jed a very, very long time. And, uh, Miss Jen? Alex? I'm realizing I don't quite know you as well as I thought. Wow, you're not going to believe me? Some allowances must, of course, be made given your injuries and resultant confusion. <laughs> but nonetheless, it saddens me to hear you make these terrible and incredible accusations against my friend. I wonder if he's behind it too. I've always found Alex to be a very trustworthy person. Ah, oh, thanks. Okay, so that's three. She wouldn't make these accusations lightly. Something must have happened. Miss Lath, there's no actual evidence of anything. Maybe not, but that's what I think. Uh -oh. Actually, Diane, there is evidence. Oh, is it going to go against For fuck's them? Sake. I have a USB stick full of recordings. Yes! We went through this yesterday. Your superiors closed the case. None of us have time for conspiracies. Yeah. You're trying to weasel your way out of things again, huh? I know your game. I know Don't how test you... me, Jason. <laughs> you know what? I'm not scared of you anymore. And not of you. Not Typhon. All right, that's enough. Deputy Pike, do you have some kind of personal issue with me? Like hell I do. Jason. Well, given that your judgment in this matter is emotionally compromised, you should probably remove oh, yourself from- cut the crap. If you think you could shut me up- I have a feeling Ryan's not gonna side with me. It concerns me that I'm sorry, you believe me. I went with them, sorry. I'm sorry, Alex. Oh, he's gonna go against me. Dad. Please. Come clean. We'll figure it out together. Oh, he does believe me. It amazes me. The extent to which she has manipulated you. Come on, Dad. Never in a million years. Come on. I hate seeing you do this. My own son. Dad. My own goddamn son! Whew. Stop. That is loud. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus, that got to me quick, that did. Whoa, what's going on? I know why you tried to kill me. It's not what you tell yourself. That you thought it was best for Haven. Guys, look at the it's lightning on this. It's never about Haven at all, was it? 
This is amazing. This was about you. I know it's easier not having to think about the men you buried. You want to look away and pretend the people you hurt aren't people. But I won't let you. My father worked for you. His name was John. He was a victim. He was a screw up. He was a fighter. He was a victim. The world never gave a shit about him. He was always struggling just to get by. He still hoped one day things would be better. But you killed him. And then Gabe, my big brother. He was starting over. He was building a family. He was happy. Yeah, he was happy. You know, when we were kids, we goofed around to escape. To pretend everything was better for a little while. When I got to Haven, the first thing we did was dance around like total dorks. And it wasn't an escape from anything. He was happy for the first time in his life. But he died. Because of you. And then there's me. For so many years, I just wanted to survive. To get through. Haven changed me. I started to think about the future. I want to belong. I want to help people. I want to play music. Belong. I want to belong somewhere. I want to know that there's a place and a group of people who wouldn't be the same without me. I was starting to feel that here. And you tried to murder me. You would have ended my life just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. Is he even going to say anything? You've forgotten it. Haven't you? You've plastered over it with another story. That you're a hero. You tell yourself you're a hero. A strong leader. Sometimes that means making hard choices. Decisions that could lead to people dying. Few men could handle that. Haven's lucky to have you. But that's the lie. If you scrape it away, what do we see? A pawn, a coward, selfish. Coward. Eleven years ago, you led a group of men to their deaths. And you couldn't even say those words out loud. Because you're a coward. You couldn't imagine saying it to your wife. Saying it in front of your son. Every day you were brave enough to go underground and look death in the eye. But you couldn't muster the courage to admit a mistake. I can feel you trying to pull away. Don't. The truth hurts. Sometimes it's so awful you think you're gonna break. But when you come out the other side, and you're whole and free and still alive, then you'll finally know how strong you really are. I 
I see the truth about you. You hate yourself. You hate what you did in the past. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. And the more you deny that hatred, the worse it grows. I know who you are. I've seen the worst parts of you. But I forgive you, and I condemned you. Condemn? And forgiven him, he killed my brother. And I condemn you. Oh, so he didn't even say a single bloody word throughout all of that? Wow. I'm so glad that Steph and Ryan backed me up though. Eleanor and Charlotte and Pike. That was amazing. I'm really happy about that. And the news is still coming in on the Typhon mining scandal that has rocked the western slope town of Haven Springs where a council meeting was the scene for shocking revelations. Local bar owner and council president Jed Lucan admitted in a tearful confession to covering up the deaths of seven Typhon employees as their manager 12 years ago. A recent cover-up, which involved a clandestine and unpermitted explosion to thwart inspections, caused the death of Haven local Gabe Chen last month. Mr. Lucan is currently in police custody awaiting arraignment. We will have plenty more about this developing story, including the resignation of Typhon CEO, the market impact, and what it all means for your drive time commute coming right. Hmm. <laughs> it's funny if that. If only if it was that easy to turn off something. If only. Yeah. The silence is worse. I need to get some air. Gotta check my phone. Jesse Whitaker. Hey Haven, the record traders is currently accepting applications. Uh, nobody just yet, but to be honest, I'm kind of eyeing the exits. Looking to new adventures. Ah, oh, geez, I miss you. Back at you, kiddo. After summoning all my strength and willpower, I'm now ready to move from the bed to the rooftop. The bed to the rooftop. Can we go downstairs? Or not? No, we can't. Lawyer business card? Maybe I do deserve some dollar sign justice, but I'd much rather be able to move on with my life. Alex, call me. You deserve justice. David Manikowitz. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't actually let you go down the stairs. Uh, before we go, I just want to have a look around here. Ah, oh, that's the pendant from my mom. Maybe Dad deserved everything he got. But I'm still glad we were there with him in his last moments. Aww, that's a nice message. Oh, I can lie back down if I want to. <laughs> Postcards? After what I went through, the middle of the ocean might not be so bad. True. Local paper? Must be rare that a local paper gets to break out the really big headline. See? This is why I try to only read the art sections. This is pretty cool that you can actually still interact with stuff. A note? What's still on the note? looking out for me, huh, Pike? Found this in Jed's house after everything. I thought you... I thought you'd like to have it. Have what? Have what? Okay, I'm kind of confused. I'll never understand exactly what happened to me down there, but I'll always be grateful. Aw, I like that. She still kept the little matchbook, the little um, 
match, uh, Kate's? That's nice. Play interview? I know now that my inaction, in the face of injustice, was itself a terrible wrong. And I know that I will never be able to undo the tremendous pain and loss I caused. I do not ask for forgiveness. The only person who could give that to me is... is gone. Thank you. There are no victories at the end of this. Just more painful truths. Huh. Oh, there's that crutch is. I was powered by adrenaline that whole morning. Now I'm mostly powered by extra strength Advil. And these. Let's see what she says about her guitar. I love this guitar, but if it starts asking me riddles again, I'm throwing it out the window. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I love how you can look outside, you can actually see some of Haven and stuff. That's actually pretty cool. Alright, let's go have a look upstairs. I just want to have a look around, guys. Sorry about that. Oh. I guess we're not going upstairs, we're going to the door. Hey, Steph. Alex, wait. Before you say anything, I have to get this out. Uh-oh. Okay. What you did at the council meeting, it was the bravest thing I've ever seen. And it made me want to be brave too. So, here it goes. I want to be with you. I don't give a shit about playing music or seeing the world. I mean, I do, but only if it's with you. And if you'd rather stay here instead, then... <sighs> Fuck it. I want to stay here too. That was amazing. I've never had anyone barge in to tell me that they wanted to be with me before. Yeah? How'd it feel? Aww. You've, uh, given me a lot to think about. Well, good. That was the idea. You know where to find me. Good luck, Chen. Thanks, Steph. I love her smile. I really love Alex's smile. Wow, I actually thought this was going to be an end of the game, to be honest. I guess there must be more to do. Oh, are we on the rooftop again? Yes, we are. Where's the two cans? Steph, maybe? Ryan? Alright. Just tell me. What? Aw, oh, Gabe. My future. What to do? The night of the spring fest, Steph made a strong push for leaving with her. Playing on the road, the excitement of the unknown. Of course, that was before all the shit went down. <laughs> Come on, you're the know-it-all. So tell me. Actually, I do know what you should do. You should stay in Haven. You're right, really. You really think so? Of course. You finally have a home, a job, people who actually like you. Why would you give that up? That's true. Then again, maybe leaving would be better. What? You're young, you suddenly have a little money, friends. And don't you think it's time to give this music thing a real shot? 
No, you should definitely leave. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Stop it, Gabe. I don't need the mysterious spirit bullshit right now. I just need... I just need my big brother. I'm sorry. I know. But here's something. It's three hours from now. A bus pulls away. You're not on it. And neither is Steph. Life goes on. You get a job working with Steph at the record store. <laughs> I love that face. All those years of being a music snob finally pay off. I love it. <laughs> I love it. And little by little, time does its thing. Oops, sorry guys, let's hit my microphone. So I guess this must be like possibilities of what I can do and where my adventure goes. The apartment starts to feel less like a museum and more like a home. Thoughts of Jed, of Typhon, even of me, begin to fade into the background. Oh wow, I've already started to move on. That's awesome. Wait, Riley's still here? Looks like Charlotte started to move on there too. Why would Riley be here? I thought she left. Maybe she'd come back. Interesting. Ah, oh, Eleanor's still here. That's awesome. I really like Eleanor. She's a nice character. The rooftop is your stage. You perform every week to a small but adoring group of fans. Maybe while you play, you wonder what could have been. Performing for more people in more cities, sharing your music with the world. Or maybe you never think about that much at all. You don't know exactly when it happens, but one day you look around and find that you have transformed this place just as much as it has transformed you. And the most extraordinary thing of all is just how normal it feels. You don't question it, 
You don't doubt it or wonder what might have been. It's your life, the life you fought so hard to have. And for the first time in a long time, you just live. Makes you wonder about these things in life, doesn't it? Thank you. Don't mention it. You really think I'll transform Haven? Of course. You already have. With your gift, your music, just by being you. But Alex, that doesn't mean you have to stay. You have the potential to do that anywhere you go. Do what? Go where? Do what? Do what exactly? Become an actual musician? Live in a van? Travel between dingy bars? Hawking your SoundCloud? <laughs> pouring your soul to strangers? Sounds pretty great if you ask me. The truth is, there's no telling what that version of your future might be. The only promise is the adventure. So? What do you think? I can either stay in Haven or seek adventure. See, as much as I'd like to go seek an adventure to see where she would end up, she feels more at home now. Like Jed's gone, Diana's gone, Typhon's gone. She's got friends and people want. now. Ah. Gabe's gone now. I really wish we had had Gabe longer than we did. Gabe was such a nice character. So sad that he's gone. Sorry about that guys, had somebody come to my front door and I had to go answer it really quickly. And you know what sucks about it? I feel like we're actually at the end of the video to, to do this as well. Uh, they couldn't have waited like maybe five more minutes. <laughs> Aww, it's just morning just before the end of the game. That's awesome. She definitely smiled like at the like last few chapters at the end of the game. I really love that. I, ca I still can't believe how big Haven is though. And I know we only got like to really get like up one street, but there was a lot of stuff in this area. Such a good game. Look how beautiful that is. Fair play to him. I believe it was Deck 9 and Square Enix that did this game if I'm not mistaken. I usually tend to leave all that in the description anyway. Um, but yeah, that was that was pretty cool. I can speed up the uh, credits if I wish to do so. Yeah, there it is. Development team is Deck 19. Deck 9, not 19. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so I guess there's probably not going to be any credits uh, music, probably because of copyright reasons. So if I have to cut it out, you guys will know why it's really quiet. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this walkthrough with me. Um, as a recording, um, I did say at the beginning of this walkthrough, um, this is actually my second walkthrough on my channel. And I really hope you guys have enjoyed this. I'm not sure what I'm going to work on next. Um, actually, I actually have no idea yet. Um, but my first walkthrough was Tiny Tina. Next was obviously Life is Strange True Colors. I don't know what I want to play next. Um, I'll have to see what's coming out soon. I know there's three games that I'm looking for soon that's coming out. Um, so yeah. Ah, oh, that's cool. They're actually showing a few pictures from uh, some of the earlier episodes. That's pretty cool. 
yeah, so like I was saying, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed Life is Strange True Colors. Let me know if you've played it or if you're going to pick it up. I would love to know. Um, I, I hope they do a season two of this because I absolutely love Alex. Such a great character. The facial expressions on this game are superb, too. Like, really superb. Even the reflections and the lightning in so many areas are so good. But yeah, I'm going to end it there for this video, guys, and this walkthrough. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, until next time, I will see you guys in my next walkthrough. Or whatever I'm going to be working on next. Hope you've enjoyed once again. Thank you for everything. You guys are amazing. Thank you for just being here. Like, it means a bunch. You have no idea.
Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments section what you thought about it below. Check the links in the description and you can pick which platforms to follow me on. If you're new around here, how about subscribing and clicking the notification bell as I put out new videos every single day. I've been Victor the Dragon and I'll speak to you soon.